All right, let's look at the first question. A photon of the red light has a wavelength of 690 nanometer. Calculate uh, the photon frequency and the photon's energy in joule and electron volt. Okay, so first of all, uh, the question provides us the wavelength. Okay, uh, this is a photon of red light. Okay, we have the wavelength in nanometer. Remember to change nanometer to meter to SI unit. So we need to find the photon frequency, uh, F. Uh, first of all, let's do it. A, the frequency. So we have the wavelength, uh, 690 nanometer. So change to meter, exponent negative 9. So frequency of the photon, uh, just use the usual formula, C equal to F lambda. Actually, this is uh, from the usual formula, uh, V equal to F lambda. Uh, just that now the velocity is the speed of light okay uh, speed of light uh, v is equal to c uh, v is equal to c uh, which is uh, this one uh, 3 exponent 8 you see that c equal to 3 exponent 8 uh, so that's why it become c equal to f lambda uh, okay so now we not want to find the frequency we can find frequency from this formula uh, so just substitute all the uh, value inside c is a uh, 3 exponent 8 3 exponent 8 and then uh, the uh, frequency times the wavelength 690 uh, nanometer change to meter negative 9 okay already in meter remember all in si unit okay so the finally the frequency uh, we will get the answer 4.34 4.34 uh, 4 uh, exponent 14 hertz okay uh, that's the answer all right now let's continue with uh, question B uh, question B uh, we want to find the photons energy in joule and electron volt uh, so here we have two units we, we need the energy in joule and also electron volt uh, so joule means uh, yeah, we need to find energy. Yeah, we need to find the energy. This is energy, but in joule and electron volt, that means we want the joule and also unit in electron volt. Uh, so you you need two. You need the answer in two unit. Yeah, in two different unit. Uh, in joule and electron volt. This joule and electron volt both are uh, units for energy. Both are units for energy. Yeah, joule is a unit for energy. Electron volt also the unit for energy. Especially in this topic, uh, photoelectric effect. Uh, we will use special unit called electron volt. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, how to convert? Uh, first of all, uh, let's find the energy in. Okay. How to find the energy? First of all, let's let's uh, find the energy. How do we find the energy? We already have the. Actually, we already have the frequency. Or we also have the wavelength. So there are two ways to get the energy. It's either you use e equal to hf. Okay, this is the energy for one photon. Uh, this is the photon energy. Yeah, this is energy for one particle. Uh, yeah, I just I just I would just want to write it down. This is the e equal to hf. Actually, is the uh, energy energy uh, for one photon. Or photon means the one particle of light. Uh, particle of light, the smallest particle. Uh, one smallest particle of light. Uh, is a photon okay so energy for one smallest particle of light only one particle is hf okay hf or we can substitute the f with uh, c over lambda uh, so we we can also use the formula hc over lambda so since the question already give us the lambda the wavelength uh, if you want to avoid the mis mistake you can use the hc over lambda uh, more secure yeah because uh, you don't depend on the answer in uh, part A. Yeah, you use the ans the the information provided. Uh, it's safer if you use HC over lambda. Uh, but if you want to make job easier, you want to you are confident with your answer in part A. You want to use the frequency. Uh, just go ahead use the HF. Okay. So um, all right. Let's calculate the energy. Uh, H. Okay, look at the Planck constant. Okay, this is the this H is called the Planck constant. Okay, uh, six point six three exponent 
uh, negative 34. Uh, you see the unit, I want you to pay attention to the unit. This Planck constant is Joule second. Uh, it is the unit, Joule second is the unit for Planck constant. And then frequency is uh, 4.34, exponent, you got it, uh, exponent 14, hertz. Hertz actually is, um, hertz actually is called per second, you know that? Hertz is actually per second, uh, because we also know frequency is one over period, isn't it? That's why it's uh, per second. So this is per second. Uh, so in the end, what uh, what do we get? Yeah, uh, yeah. In the end, what do we get? What unit do we get? Uh, if we cancel off, if we cancel off uh, the unit, uh, second cancel with per second. So our answer for energy is in joule. Uh, do you see that our unit is actually in joule? So. What's the answer for energy in Joule? Yeah, let's look at the answer. Uh, the answer is uh, uh, 2.88 exponent negative 19. Okay. 2.88 exponent uh, negative 19 Joule. Uh, that's our answer. Uh, okay, so the final, the final answer, the final uh, unit for energy uh, from this formula, okay, uh, from this formula, see, if you look at this, this formula, E go to HF, uh, the unit you get is, after you uh, cancel the unit, you get the, the unit for energy is in Joule, not electron volt. Ah, that's why I said, it's very important to know that, uh, I told you before, E go to HF, this formula, when, after you calculate the energy, you will get the answer in Joule not electron volt okay uh, not uh, not electron volt uh, you will get the energy in joule not electron volt because our h is joule second uh, that's why uh, uh, you get the answer of energy in joule okay remember that for this formula e go to hf or hc over lambda uh, you will get uh, the energy in joule not electron volt yeah in si unit uh, this is actually called the you will get your unit of energy in si unit ah uh, joule so now the in you need the answer you already got one answer of energy in joule but you also want the answer in electron volt how to convert to electron volt how to convert from joule to electron volt uh, so if you still remember uh, talking about uh, these two energy unit electron volt and joule uh, one electron volt is actually 1.6 exponent negative 19 joule. Uh, that means uh, if I want to convert from electron volt, uh, electron volt to joule, I multiply 1.6. Uh, this is actually the charge of electron. Uh, I can say this is the actually the charge of electron. So from electron volt convert to joule, we multiply E, isn't it? We multiply the charge of one electron. Uh, this 1.6 negative 19 is actually electron charge. Uh, so from electron volt convert to joule is just like the electron just become value. Yeah, it, the electron the electron gone. Yeah, become a value. Uh, so that's why multiply electron become joule. Uh, if you want if you want to convert from joule to electron volt, we divide by electron charge. Uh, we divide by electron charge. So now. Uh, the question is you want to find you want to convert from joule to electron volt uh, you want to convert from uh, from joule I want to convert to electron volt how uh, so I divide uh, I divide electron charge understand uh, yeah because uh, from joule joule convert to electron volt I divide electron charge uh, okay so I divide electron charge, so to get the answer, okay, so let's calculate. Huh? So uh, uh, divide by electron, that means uh, 2.88 exponent negative 19, uh, negative 19, I divide by electron charge, electron charge, I divide, electron is 1.6 exponent negative 19. Uh, so uh, after I divide, uh, this one, uh, cancel, cancel, uh, you will get the answer in electron volt already. Ah, so finally, uh, after divide by electron charge, I got my energy unit in electron volt. So the answer is uh, 
electron volt? Uh, the answer is uh, 1.80 uh, electron volt. Ah, okay. So remember to convert from uh, electron volt to joule, we multiply electron charge. To convert from joule back to electron volt, yeah, joule back to electron volt, you divide by electron charge. Uh, you divide by electron charge. Okay, divide by electron. Yeah, convert electron volt to joule, multiply electron, convert from joule to electron volt, we divide electron. Uh, so uh, and remember that. Uh, this this uh, formula, you always get joule first. You always get the uh, you always get the uh, SI unit first. Uh, SI unit first. You won't get the electron volt. You only get from this formula. You only get joule first. Uh, so this after you apply this H equal to HF formula, you always get joule first. Uh, then from joule, you only convert to electron volt by divide electron charge. Okay. Uh, so be careful with the question. Uh, sometimes he need the uh, answer in two unit, uh, Joe and both Joe and electron volt. So you need to give both. Huh? you need to give both. Uh, don't just give only one. Okay. So that's all for this question. Uh, let's go on to the next one.